this will be our next class or next lecture as far as this class is concerned it will be about a very very important uh, topic that's about the moment of a force moment of a force about a specified axis okay see we have already discussed the concept of moment of a force now this topic talks about the moment of a force about a specified axis that is we will be asked to calculate the moment of a force about a given axis what does that mean see if you have any vector quantity for example force f force we know is a vector quantity as far as this force is concerned let's suppose in a rectangular coordinate system we have force acting we have this let's suppose this to be our x-axis this is our y-axis and let's suppose that this is our z-axis and let's call let's say that this is our origin okay let's suppose that we have force acting in this rectangular coordinate system and the force is say for example acting in this direction okay If this force is acting in three dimensions, then this force essentially will have, this force will have an X component. It will have an X component. And it will have, this force will also have a Y component. Okay. And this force will also have a Z component that will be perpendicular to the Z axis. Okay. Or let's for some time consider, let this to be our X axis and let let's consider this to be our y-axis and let's suppose that this force f is acting in xy plane and this force is having only two components the component of this force along x-axis let's call that as fx and this force is having a component along y-axis let's call that component of force as f subscript y these are the components of this force force component along y-axis force component along x-axis and let's suppose that the angle that it subtends with the x-axis let this angle be theta Therefore, this vector quantity force can be written as, we can write this force F can be written as the component of force along X axis, that is F subscript X, this force component is along X axis, plus F, that is component of force along Y axis, JK, okay? So this force can be written in terms of its components, the component of force along X axis and the component of force along y axis okay this is we are already familiar with this terminology we have no issue uh, in understanding this uh, terminology of force that if a force is acting along uh, different components then we can take the uh, you know uh, we can write it in, in as a vector addition component along x axis plus component along y axis now see as far as this fx is concerned fx is the component of this force along x axis and fy is the component of this force along y axis this force f we have defined when we write i cap when we are writing this i cap as far as i cap is concerned i cap is a unit vector drawn along x axis a unit vector a vector of magnitude one having direction along x axis we define that as i cap we call that as this is a unit vector along x axis i cap in the same way we define the unit vector along y axis as j cap there is no problem with this we are we already know these things that i cap is a unit vector along x axis and the uh, j cap is a unit vector along y axis now if we do one thing if we <coughs> perform the dot product if we take the dot product if we take the dot product of this force with if we take the dot product of force f with a unit vector along x axis that is if we take i cap and dot product with force f that is what we are doing we are taking the dot product we are taking the dot product with a with a unit vector along we are taking the dot product of a unit vector along x axis with a force which is acting along with a force f which is given to us okay so what will be what will be the answer of this what will be the simplified module for this that is the dot product with a, with a unit vector along x axis with f we can write this as this is i dot f and our as far as f is concerned f can be written as component of f 
long x-axis with we can write this f as this is fx i cap plus f y j cap this is how we can write this we know this okay so take the dot product when you write i this is its magnitude is one it is one into fx is fx one into fx is fx and i dot i is equal to one so this will be fx plus magnitude of i is one this is one into fy is fy and i dot j is equal to zero because these two vectors are perpendicular to each other therefore this term therefore this term reduces to zero and we get we are obtaining f of x so when we are writing when we write i dot f it gives us the unit vector it gives us the unit vector along it gives us the unit vector along x axis so writing as we are writing i dot fx i dot f it gives us f of x so dot product of a vector with a unit vector along x axis gives the component of the force along x axis okay in the same way if we take j cap dot f if we take the dot product between j and f that will be equal j dot f f is equal fx plus fy along x and y axis that is in place of i we have now j cap now as far as j dot i is concerned this is zero and j dot j is one therefore this will be equal this entire term will be equal force component along y axis this is fy so it means if we take a dot product of force or any vector quantity with a unit vector about a given x axis then the dot product of a unit vector about any axis with the given vector gives us the component of that vector along that very particular axis okay so in the same way if we take the dot product of this force if we have the force acting in three dimensions and we take the dot product of this force with a unit vector along z axis if we take k dot f if we take the dot product between a unit vector if we take the dot product with a unit vector along z axis dot product of a unit vector along z axis with a force acting in three dimensions if it has x component y component and z component then we know from these two uh, these two products we know that this will give us the component of this force along z axis this is a very very important result so what we are doing now if we have any component of the force if we have any direction let's suppose we you define a unit vector now not along x axis not along y axis not along z axis let's suppose we define a unit vector about any axis let this be the unit vector along any axis we call this as unit vector along x axis let's suppose in this uh, three dimensional space let's suppose we have a vector quantity v therefore the component of this v along u will be equal u dot v this will give us the component of v along u since dot product is scalar therefore this will be component only not the direction okay so this is so this is a very very important result that whenever we have to find the component of a vector quantity about any axis draw the unit vector about that axis take the dot product of that unit vector with the given vector that will give you the component of the vector along this very axis this is very very important now come back what we have here we have moment of a force about a specified axis till now we have been defining the moment about z axis we have been saying this is our x axis okay uh, we have been saying let this be this to be our y axis let's suppose this is our z axis we have been saying let this to be our point o we have been calling this the origin let this be our point o okay we have been defined this is force f okay this is force f okay and this is radius vector r this was our radius vector r we were saying the moment of this force f about an axis passing through point o that is this axis about an axis passing through point o which is your z axis the moment of this force is equal to the moment of this force is equal to r cross f this is important so this is the moment of this force which we have been defining about an axis passing through point o now if we are asked what is the component of this mo moment what is the component of the mo moment about any axis say for example about x axis then what we what we will do we will say the component of this moment about x axis will be i dot r cross f 
this will be the component of this moment along x axis what will be the component of this moment along y axis the component of this moment about x axis y axis will be j dot r cross f this is how we write it what will be the component of this force what will be the component of this moment about any axis say for example the axis is not x axis the axis is not y axis the axis is not z axis let's suppose there is some axis which has been drawn in this direction let's suppose this uh, let's suppose this is let's suppose this is our this is the axis okay what is the moment of this force about this axis then what we do we have to draw the unit vector about this axis let's suppose the unit vector is say for example u then the component of this moment component of this moment component of this moment about this direction will be equal u dot r cross f this is how we do it this will be u dot r cross f this is important so what we are actually trying to do we are finding the component of this moment about any axis okay so uh, how we can so if we now say the component of the moment about a given axis is we have to draw the unit vector about that very axis and take the dot product of that unit vector with a given uh, with a given cross product with a given torque this will give you the component of the moment about the given axis about the axis u okay this is how we will be doing it now let's try to simplify this term this term is we write this as like it has been done here in your book like it has been done here the moment about a given axis for example the moment of a force is along this axis this is this is what has been shown moment is equal to r cross f what is the component of this moment about about an about an about any axis say for example what is the component of this moment about an axis okay whose unit vector is say for example u so that's what we i told you uh, it's like this solution will be uh, moment about any axis say for example about axis u is equal to u dot u dot r cross f u dot r cross f now as far as this u dot r cross f is concerned we can write this as this u, u dot r cross f uh, as far as u dot r cross f is concerned just a moment please okay as far as this u dot r cross f is concerned this u represents a unit vector about the given axis okay now unit vector has magnitude one <coughs> we can have a unit vector about uh, any axis okay this unit vector has magnitude one if this is a unit vector along x axis then it it will be i cap if this is a unit vector along y axis it will be j cap if this is a unit vector along uh, along z axis then it will be k cap now if this happens to be a unit vector in 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 space then its components will be uh, i cap plus j cap plus k cap these will be its components okay if this is acting in space for this vector to be acting in space if this is a unit vector along space then its components will be uh, you know i plus j plus k okay uh, these are the components of this u along x y and z, z x y and z axis if this unit vector happens to be acting in uh, in space now let's go to this uh, you know formula uh, as far as this formula is concerned this formula talks about uh, it talks about the uh, we have we have you know uh, moment of force about any axis so let me do it like this let me solve it here uh, so moment of force about any axis u i was writing as this is u dot unit vector dot r cross f so this is u dot r cross f let me solve it for you so as far as u dot r cross f is concerned this can be written as you have this is having component i plus j plus k cap and we have to dot it we have to dot it with a vector r cross f okay so i will tell you if you you have to you can do it like this so if you you can write this as i 
plus J plus K cap dot with R cross F. We write R cross F as I cap, J cap, and or K cap. Okay. And the components of R we write, the component of R long X axis is Rx. Let the component of R long Y axis be Ry. And the component of R long Z axis be Rz. Okay. The component of F along X axis, let that be Fx. F subscript fx component of f along y axis let that be fy and the component of f along z axis let that be equal f z which is equal to which is equal to we can write this as i plus j plus k that is i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot with dot product with we have uh, let's perform this. Uh, let's perform. Let's solve this determinant. This determinant will be. This will be uh, R Y into F Z. This is R Y F Z minus F Y R Z. F Y R Z, and this is along x axis. We write this as I cap. Okay. Plus. Sorry, second term is minus. Minus, we have Rx Fz. This is how you solve this Rx Fz minus Rz Fx minus Rz Fx. This is along J cap. And the third component will be plus. The third component is rx fy we write this as rx fy minus ry fz this is ry fz this is along k cap this is how we write it now we have to take dot product of this with this vector so it will be i dot i okay because i dot j is zero and i dot k is zero so this will be uh, this term multiplication with this similarly j dot this term because j dot i and j dot k is zero similarly k in multiplication of this because k dot i and k dot j is zero therefore what we will get we'll get therefore we will have this is i dot this term it will be ry fz minus f minus rz fy minus rz fy this is first term and it will be scalar because dot product gives you scalar the second term is minus it will be j dot this it will be rx fz minus rz fx and the third and the last term will be plus k dot k dot product of this k with this entire term it will be rx fy minus ry fx minus ry fx okay so this is as good now we have obtained this so this represents the component of the moment m about the axis u okay the component of m about u is given by this this is as same as u in order to solve this vector in order to solve, solve this multiplication dot product what we can do write down the magnitude of i j and k their magnitude is their magnitude is 1 1 and 1 then write down the magnitude of rx along x y and z you have rx ry and rz and write down the magnitude of f along x y and z so you have fx fy and fz so this solve this solve this determinant you will get this back see this will be the first will be r y f z that is r y f z minus f y r z that is f y r z you got your term back so if you solve this uh, determinant you will get this result back okay so this is how you take in order to take the component of f about any axis first of all write down the unit vector identify the unit vector about that axis then 
write down the components of this unit vector as the first uh, row of this determinant. Then the radius vector is to be written as the components of radius vector as the second row of the determinant. And the components of the force are to be written as the third, uh, as the third row of this determinant. This is how you have to solve, okay? So if it, sometimes what is done in some of the derivations, the components of u along x, y, and z is written as, not u, i, the components of u along x, y, and z is written as, components of u along x, y, and z is written as, u x i cap so you, it's written as u x i cap plus u y j cap plus u z k cap so these are the components of uh, unit vector u along x y and z which ultimately will be unit vector themselves so if you have if you are if you have sometimes a vector written in this form then in place of u here you have to write u x here you will write u y here we will be writing u z okay this the solution of this determinant will give you the component of the moment about the given about the given axis okay let's try to solve few questions in order to you know clearly identify and clearly uh, understand what we have done till now okay uh, let's solve this problem from our book um, and from the solution of this book some of our doubts will get cleared okay so the question is, uh, we have to, uh, the question says, uh, let me, uh, it says uh, determine the moment MAB. We have to find the moment MAB produced by the force F in this figure, which tends to rotate the rod about AB axis. So we have, the system is like this. We have uh, a rod, b a c this is a bend rod as far as this rod is concerned at end c of this rod a force of 300 newton is being applied along minus z axis we have to find how much is the moment produced by force f about a b okay so a b is the given axis for us we have to find the moment of this force f about a b so what we will do the procedure will be first of all let's find the moment of this force f about an axis passing through point A, then we will take the dot product of that moment with a unit vector about AB. That is, I mean to say, let's first of all, let's first of all draw the unit vector from point A to point C. Okay. As far as this unit, uh, sorry, as far as this radius vector is concerned, find out this radius vector R from A to C. We can write this as this is R. AC vector. Okay. This RAC vector we can write as this RAC vector, its component along x axis is this component. Okay. That is equal to the distance from here to here. That is 0 0.6 meter. So it is 0 0.6 meter. It is 0 0.6 meter along x axis. So we'll write this as 0 0.6 i cap. And the component of this AC vector along y axis will be this component. Okay, this will be its component. This is, will be its component along, uh, this component is along Z axis. It does not have a component along Y axis. So this will be plus 0 0.3 meter, 0 0.3 meter K cap. So this represents, this represents our, this represents our unit vector along this, sorry, not unit vector. This is our position vector RAC. So position vector RAC is equal to this much. Now let's write down the force F. The force F that we have is equal to 300 Newton. The force is 300 Newton. And this force is acting along minus Z axis. It's downward. So we'll write this as minus K cap. So this will be minus K cap. Okay. So, uh, after doing this much, therefore, we will find out, therefore, we will find out how much will be the moment produced by F about an axis passing through point O, that is this axis, okay? That moment will be equal, the moment of this force will be a vector quantity that will be equal, we'll write this as, this is moment about axis passing through point A will be RAC, it will be RAC, 
cross f so this is the moment since this represents the cross product therefore this will be a vector quantity now we have to find the component of this moment about a b about a b axis okay a b is now axis how much is the component of this moment the moment is acting along an axis passing through point a how much is the component of this moment about an axis passing through line a b in order to do it what we will do we will draw we'll write down the unit vector from a to b okay so the unit vector from a to b will be we'll write the unit vector from a to b will be equal to the vector rab vector rab divided by the magnitude of vector rab okay divided by the magnitude of vector rab that's equal to as far as rab vector is concerned the vector from a to b is concerned this vector is concerned this vector is having a component along x axis okay and the component this co component of this vector along x axis is having magnitude 0.4 meter and it's along this component will be like this so we'll write this as this is 0.4 meter i cap and this vector rab is also having a component along y axis and that component is equal to 0.2 meter so we'll write this as this is 0.2 meter this is 0.2 meter j cap divided by the magnitude of this vector the magnitude of this vector will be under root of 0.4 meter square this is 0.4 meter square plus 0.2 meter square okay plus 0.2 meter square okay so solve this this will be equal as is given here this will be 0.89 Four four i cap plus zero point four four seven two j cap. This will be our radius vector from. This will be radius vector R A B unit radius vector R A B. I have to make two clarifications to you. If you look at this R A B, the component of R A B is this much. The component of R A B along y axis is this much, and the component of R A B along x axis is this much. If we have a unit vector. along any axis ab maybe a unit vector along three dimensions that does not mean that its components along x y and z axis will be 1 1 and 1 as we were assuming till now that's wrong the component of unit vector does not mean their mag the total magnitude of the unit vector will be 1 the total magnitude of this unit vector has to be 1 it's a unit vector and that does not mean that its components will also have a magnitude 1 unit okay as we are seeing here so please clarify this was an error that i was repeatedly making in the previous um, you know from past few minutes that the component of rab quite uh, you know unintentionally i have made this mistake please clear it a unit vector has total magnitude 1 but its components does not have a magnitude equal to 1 anyways now therefore we can write the component of this moment about rab will be rab R A B dot this M A, which I am leaving as an exercise to students to solve and take reference from this question, uh, you know, to solve this very, to solve this dot product. Thank you.